What's going on everyone, Desktops Gaming here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at something that helps me produce these videos. Uh, my lavalier mic. Uh, for a while now, I've been using one from Boya here. It's uh, not a super expensive mic. They can use a pickup up on Amazon for around $30 or so. This is just a wired mic, uh, something a little better than the camera mic that I have. Uh, but a company by the name of Kimafun or Kimafun reached out. Uh, they wanted me to take a look at their 2.4 gigahertz wireless uh, setup pack. Uh, like, like I said, the current one I wear is wired, so actually a little wire running into my pocket for the recorder. But I wanted to dive into maybe going wireless with this one today. So first we'll do a quick unboxing here. I've already you know, taken this out and played around with it a little bit, but just to go over what comes in the package here, of course you get your instruction manual here and a couple of different mounting options and things of how to mount it on a camera, how to properly charge it, all those things there, a little customer sheet. Uh, in the packaging we do receive, of course, the lavalier microphone itself here. Like I said, I've unboxed this already, but I want to go over everything with you today. But at least we do have the lavalier itself. Then of course included is the transmitter and receiver. So the way these are set up to work is uh, you basically have one that will connect to your um, microphone itself. It does have these pretty cool little connector where you have the TRS or the quarter inch going in and then it screws down to make sure it can't come out, which is very nice. You can't come, you know, come unplugged. Then of course on the front here, you have your channel select button. You would just match the channel on the other pack to the, or match the trans transmitter to the receiver. Uh, they just make sure those channels line up so they're transmitting to each other. Um, and then of course on the actual pack for the microphone, you have a volume up and down and an on off switch as well as an on and off switch on the uh, receiver as well. Uh, and then going over what else is in the box here, it uh, looks like you do get some extra windscreen or covers for the lavalier itself. Looks like we get a, uh, let's see, this is a quarter to, or an eighth to quarter adapter here. Uh, and then it also comes with Another tiny little microphone. This looks like one you can mount on a cold shoe. Say if you want to mount it on a camera, uh, it looks like that's what this is for. And of course it does come with some other adapters as well. Let's go and pull everything else out here. Uh, it does come with this pretty neat USB type C cable. Uh, it's pretty much just a regular USB A to two, a split type C here. So you can charge up both packs together without needing two different cables, which is nice. Let's see, looks like we get a male to female extension here. Uh, just like looks like a uh, quarter adapter here. Uh, I guess this is to say if you're running this one in particular, want to run it straight into your camera. If your camera had a plug uh, or a quarter inch or a headphone or microphone jack plug there, uh, this is what that would adapt for. And then the other one it has, this uh, splitter one here, is if you're going to use it, say, with a phone, because uh, the actual mics themselves have two or bipole. Uh, so you need to split that down for a stereo signal. Uh, so you'd have to plug that into the microphone side of this splitter because it's microphone and headphone. I guess you could use this headphone for monitoring uh, your sound as well. Uh, and then like I said, this you'd plug this into your phone if you're gonna use your phone as the recording instrument. So that's pretty much everything laid out here. Um, I'm gonna do some A and B testing between this Boya wired one and um, this pack here to see uh, you know what the sound quality difference is. I'll try to mount them in the same position on my shirt here, some where I wear mics when I record. Uh, like I said, uh, if you saw some couple close-ups there, uh, we'll just uh, go into doing some sound testing. So why don't we go ahead and test that out so we can do some A and B testing between the two. Not saying so much that one will be that much better. Uh, these kits do come in at a pretty good price, I think, for what you get for this. I'll go and pop the price up on the screen here for what you get for this. I don't think it's too bad because with the Receiver here, you do get a little mounting system here as well. Looks like this is a another cold shoe mount. So if you did have a cage on your camera, you can mount that there. And this one has a belt clip or side clip here uh, for the actual little transmitter for your mic. So that's the one that'll be clipping on yourself. If you spotted me in the last couple of videos, you've probably maybe even heard this one because I've been kind of A and Bing these back and forth. Uh, the boy one I have can work with a regular audio interface. It comes with the similar adapters like that as well. It's one I purchased 
uh, to my own because I wanted to upgrade the sound quality based off of the regular mic on that on the camera I use because it's not bad but very echoey in this room. I haven't properly sound treated my little studio here yet. Uh, so having a lavalier clipped to me a little closer definitely helps. I can move around a lot more without having to worry about, uh, you know, if what I'm doing builds or anything, without having to worry about aiming myself at the microphone that's on the camera. So this definitely comes in handy. All right, let's go ahead and set this guy up. We'll do some sound testing here. We'll be able to jump back and forth between the two different recordings. So we'll go ahead and start with this one. Uh, this is the Boya microphone, the one that's clipped to my shirt currently. Like so you may have heard this in other sound tests against the T669 that I've done, uh, the one sent in from Fifine. But this is, like I said, the Boya one I picked up off Amazon. I believe this one's like 25 bucks or so. Uh, so not too bad uh, as far as what comes with it in the kit. You pretty much just get the um, pretty much just get the microphone, and it does have a little adapter here. You get some extra windscreens um, for it as well, and it does come with a little battery if you're going to run it off of your. Uh, camera it does need to be powered so I just have it running into a little recorder that's in my pocket here and we'll do the same thing for this one here so the actual recording interface will be the same all right so I think that's a pretty good sound test for this one let's go and jump over and mount this one up and see what the difference in sound quality is so now we have the chemophone or chemophone I'm not sure how they uh, exactly pronounce it there um, like I said they just reached out to me to send it over uh, we have that mounted up here now try to get it in about the same place as I was wearing the boya which I have sitting over there now so hopefully you guys can see the maybe quality difference here just have it on a pack clipped to my shirt and I have it kind of just sitting right here normally I will kind of clip it behind me or to this pocket out of the way like I said but pretty much have it just plugged in selected the same channel here uh, there is a volume rocker here so we'll try maybe adjusting it up and down while we do some sound test here, I'll try not to increase or decrease the volume of my voice um, the whole time. So I'm going to turn that up a little bit. Uh, clip it back on the pocket here. There we are, get that out of the way. So, I mean, I definitely like the idea of the wireless there. Uh, you know, beforehand I was just kind of balling these up in my pocket, um, which, you know, that's one thing I did like about the boy. It's definitely nice if it's gonna be, you know, direct hard line plugged into something and you're gonna be a good distance away from it. They do include plenty of length here. And uh, let's see, let's go over what the instruction manual calls it. Like I said, you do get six channels. Uh, you can use up to three sets and a single mic and one dual mic on the same occasion when you're using these, since you have so many channels to pick from there. Uh, let's see, they go over, yeah, like I said, they can be fully charged within about two hours and use for five to six. Like I said, they do have battery indicators on the front here. We'll get some close-ups of that where you guys can see it. So you can actually see what channel you're currently selecting and then how much battery you have in both the transmitter and receiver of the pack. So you can use it with the lavalier or handheld microphone. Like I said, that would be more so if you were going to put it on uh, the, like maybe a cold shoe mount on a camera if you wanted it kind of all compact all in one, especially say, you know, maybe if you're doing some kind of vlogging or something where you're carrying around the camera, uh, just pointing it at you and you want better quality than what your camera uh, microphone has, this definitely would be a pretty good way to go. It'll give you options to record to your tablet or smartphone via the adapter we talked about earlier. Let's see, and I believe that's pretty much everything. So hopefully, I just wanted to talk for a little bit to give you guys an example of uh, the microphone difference. So you can kind of go back a little bit early in the video to where the boya was on me and then where this one was. So if you definitely are looking to upgrade your setup or anything like that, uh, you know, audio is half the battle of doing any video. You know, if you do have great video production quality, which I try to shoot for the best I can here on the budget that we're set at right now, uh, but I definitely want to upgrade my audio quality. Uh, like I said, they did send this one over for review, so we'll definitely play around with it for a little bit and see uh, you know, which one you guys prefer better, see which one we like better. I'll try to not do any editing uh, other than my normal cleanup that I do during uh, my video editing process. So you guys can kind of hear the raw differences between the two. Uh, you'll definitely be able to hear the AC running in both of those. Again, I apologize for that. It's very hot where I am currently. I do live in the southern states in uh, the United States. Uh, so it gets pretty warm down here this time of year. But I wanted to, uh, you know, just give a fair comparison between the two, so we won't do any kind of edit, uh, you know, any kind of mixing versus what we normally do. And I'll try to keep them pretty much the same, no filtering or EQing or anything like that done outside of what we normally do when we post these YouTube videos. Check sure, guys, that about wraps it up. If you do any questions on this kit, definitely let me know down in the comments below. I think we've pretty much gone over all of the features of the kits. I may even touch back later on. Or, and do maybe one on the little mic they include. We'll see about that. But overall, I do like how the kit's set up. I like the fact that they include the charging cable to be able to charge both packs at the same time. That's very nice. Uh, the fact that you do get the extra little cold shoe uh, or maybe camera microphone with it is very nice. I like that the transmitter and receiver can be mounted pretty easily with this one just going on your 
belt buckle or your maybe your pants here, uh, maybe a back pocket or so. You just want to make sure that the antenna there is not obstructed by anything. And then of course, on the uh, actual uh, receiver that it is, can be mounted to a cold shoe. So if you do want to keep it on a cage on your camera, that's also a possibility. Check yeah, guys, that about wraps it up. I appreciate you guys stopping by today. Again, let me know if you have any com uh, questions or comments about this kit down in the comments below. I appreciate you guys stopping by today. Take it easy.